One of the first gay bars in San Marcos abruptly shut down on the first of the year, and employees say they didn't get a warning. But the bar's owner says there's a reason for that. KVU's Darren Shaharan spoke to those who say that the Stonewall Warehouse was a safe place in the city. A small bar in a small town with a huge impact. It almost feels like our childhood home is like being taken away, truly. Drag queens, May Magdalene, Veronica Valentine, and Mars all got their start at the Stonewall Warehouse in San Marcos. I moved to San Marcos, Texas State, and that was my first like exploration into like this whole world of like, you know, who I actually am and people that were like me as well. And not just them, any young students trying to find themselves. You didn't even have to be a drag queen. Some people would just lip sync to have fun. The fun didn't end that way. The bar shut down abruptly on New Year's Day. Employees say the owner did not give them a heads up before selling it. They're not just bartenders to us. They're a family too, the whole staff. We're all really close to them. So just to know that they all got laid off on New Year's Day was really hard. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay, girl. But the GoFundMe created by the manager makes for a softer landing. In less than 24 hours, they raised more than $5,000. Like our sisters in New York are hearing about it. Everyone's posting on social media. We have it's insane, the, the network of that Stonewall created for itself. We have girls from RuPaul's Drag Race reposting this GoFundMe <laughs> right now on their story. The bar owner, Jamie Fralix, says while it's great they have support, he wanted to make it clear all employees are getting two weeks of pay and the manager received a quote, healthy amount of money, end quote. Fralix says the bar wasn't profitable and he didn't warn employees about the sale and closure because quote, Ultimately, the dangers and irresponsibility that come with the staff who may have nothing to lose when it comes to running a bar properly would not have been in the best interest of the business, the staff, nor our customers, end quote. We can't put it into words like what that place means to so many people and to have it just gone one day without a warning is it's horrible. horrible. Miss Mars! And they hope the next group can find another stone wall to build a safe place to find themselves. It will be remembered for a very, very, very long time. In Austin, I'm Darenisha Heron. Now the bar owner also says he regrets that the bar was closed this way and thanked everyone who supported Stonewall over the last eight years. You can read the full statement right now at KVU.com.